Oh, snap. Pie, this is definitely for me. Mother's Day. It's almost time for you to come out. It's almost time to meet you. <laughs> Are you ready to meet me? <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> So I'm here right outside of the grocery store because I'm about to go in there and uh, pick up some stuff to cook uh, Emma some dinner tonight for Mother's Day. And I thought I'd just take the time out and um, guess I just talk about it a little bit because this is a very significant one because this is our first Mother's Day that I'm going we're going to officially uh, celebrate Emma being a mother. And that just makes me feel so grateful to have someone like Emma up in my face right there have someone like Emma to share this journey with me and for her to be the mother of my kids big believer that she's here with me to walk with me in my journey for a specific reason and I couldn't ask for anything more from her for what she's doing with her uh, going through this pregnancy just seeing all the uh, ups and downs and just really seeing her uh, sacrifice I mean a lot of people probably think that you know you're not really doing much by just uh, carrying the baby right now but there's so many things that goes into it like she uh, she's really taking care of her body I'm not saying that she did it before but you know she's really just thinking about our child already you know before he's even here she's making sure that his room and everything is uh, ready to go she's making sure that uh, we can we're doing all that we can to better better prepare for our son's coming so uh, I'm just so happy to have her in my life because she makes me better she makes me want to be a great father for our son she just helps and elevates me and she picks me up when I'm down and she really uh, pushes me to step out of my comfort zone a lot and just do what I need to do even though my comfort zone may be about this big no, but uh, she helps me step out of it nonetheless. I just can't wait to see what kind of mother she's going to be. I'm just excited to see those moments of her holding our son and just having that relationship blossom into what it's going to be. And I just can't wait for her to, you know, impart lessons and just show our son what a woman's supposed to be. You know, she'll be the first example of women in, uh, in his eyes, you know, she's gonna be the first woman he'll ever love. And um, I know that he's, uh, he always, he's already got the greatest role model just because of who she is. So I'm really excited for these years to come, decades to come. And I just know that uh, with, each, with each and every year that Mother's Day is gonna be even more special and even more, uh, you know, just, just more of a celebration for all that she's done and all that she wants to do for our kid. I was about to say kids, but kid for right now. We're not planning on anymore for a while, but I'm just really, I'm just really happy. I just, you know, I'm really happy. There's, I'm in the best point of my life right now and I'm sharing it with the only person I would ever want to. So Emma and to my mom and to all you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day and just know that from me now about to be expecting father that I just appreciate all the things that you all do even more now it just it just all coming in perspective for me I think that's all I got for now so happy Mother's Day again I will give this rose from me to all y'all mothers out there who may not receive one this year but no 
that you're appreciated and you're loved and keep doing what you do because like I said without you who knows where we be in this doggy dog world good afternoon everyone I just got out of the shower this is my no makeup shower face <laughs> just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to everyone uh, it is Mother's Day like I had said earlier um, when the baby was moving around this morning telling me happy Mother's Day I guess with his little kicks it was so cute um, Josh just went to go get saran wrap because <laughs> uh, we're gonna do the belly casting today that, that's the plan anyway yeah I've just been really tired today or just not like tired like sleepy I guess just like my body's tired and I just know things are getting closer and you know preparing for this birth experience <laughs> I can just feel it things are moving yeah today's Mother's Day and if you have uh, watched us since last year uh, we did do a Mother's Day video so you know it's kind of a it's kind of an interesting day for me it's sort of a bittersweet day because I the relationship I have with my mom is not the best and I made a video last year talking about it I wrote a poem and um, if you want to watch that I, I can link it down below but basically you know I mean I love my mom and everything it's just it's just always a day that's kind of you know sometimes it gets hard to see all the posts and everything of people talking about you know this great relationship they have with their mother and that's just not really my reality um and without getting too much into it or crying because i will start crying um it's just especially today i guess now that i'm pregnant like it's just such a it's a it's a lot of emotions i guess it's just a lot of emotions and you know, I think about my mom and that she had to go through what I'm going through right now with me or yeah, with me and her stomach and you know, it makes me cry when I think about it because it's like <sighs> that all the, I guess all the feelings of the fact that she loves me and, and that she loved me or not that she loved me, but that she loves me and and then just the relationship that we have now is just not the greatest but then I know she still loves me and it just it's just hard it's just really hard and I wish it was easier <laughs> to explain and and to understand but that's just kind of how it is so um, yeah and, and I'm thankful that I've been given this opportunity and um, to get to experience motherhood Soon I'll be, you know, have a baby in my arms and I'm thankful for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, just waiting for Josh to get home so we can start this belly casting thing. I'm lost. I never do grocery shopping by myself. First of all, I don't do grocery shopping by myself. And second, I came to a grocery store that we don't even really come to. So I don't even know where what I want is. Uh, oh wait, that's not. Okay, just going to search the seafood. You have a call on one seafood, one on one. Seafood. But I found what I need. Stouffer's lasagna. Are you guys gonna make a lasagna? Can you make it a? Uh, can you make it from scratch? I sure enough can't. Stouffer's good? I have no idea. Bake Ziti. Is it Bake Ziti or Ziti? I don't know. Mama Mia. So many ideas. I guess I'll get this. Oh, snap. Pie. This is definitely for me. I already told you I love pie, right? If it's got pie in its name, I can pretty much say I love it. Apple pie, banana cream pie, Pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, shepherd's pie. I can't think of any other kind of pie, but I probably like it too. Well, Josh and I just got done doing the belly casting. Finally. Yeah. See, I have bought this belly casting kit and we finally just did it. So that video should be up. I'll link it down below. Go watch it. 
Check it out. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Josh looks so cute with his beer gut. <laughs> he tried it on <laughs> and it just looked like a beer belly. I feel like my stomach is huge. But then Josh put it on and he just looked like he just gained 10 pounds. I'm like, how does it look so much smaller on you? So, I don't know, mysteries of life, I guess. You're almost there. Oh gosh, it's all in his back.